your dog in 1985. Bash into bricks together! <laughs> You've seen from previous videos of mine, viruses are not contagious, but the truth is contagious. You see, so much so that Flat Earth was spreading a little too quickly. You see, Flat Earth is the real reason for real it to make sense. It was getting out of control. At first we see the spike on Google Trends with Flat Earth increasing, and then it fell. But I don't think it really fell. I think it kept on increasing and increasing. Slow down, slow down.
vacation time. Scientists are always wrong. Why should we believe them this time? We're skeptical is because scientists are always wrong. Why should we believe them this time? So now you, though, are a defender. Up the microphone volume for this, please. Thank you. So, 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 it was an, it was an editorial decision. I remember when it happened. So, um, the point is, if you, anyone who comes to this problem asserting that well, science has once thought the world was flat, and now, you know, actually some people today think the world is flat, as you know, um, but it's a vessel that you pour information in, and then, you, and then you close the vessel, hand them a degree, and they push them forward into life. And if all you know is how to recite information handed to you, and you don't know how to process information, how to analyze information, how to, how to pass judgment on information, then you are not equipped later on as an adult, especially if you're an adult in charge, to... <laughs> To, so the transition from a flat Earth to a round Earth, and Earth in the middle of the known universe, and the Sun in the middle of the known universe, all that happened before this era. So, 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 it's... We're skeptical is because scientists are always wrong. We're skeptical is because scientists are always wrong. So, so, it's... We're skeptical is because scientists are always wrong. You... Real quick, Sean, did we get enough super chats? I might have prepared something. Oh man, if you're gonna if you're gonna go ahead and freestyle, you should do that. <laughs> do it. Ready? Just teaching. Can you please just turn the speakers up? It's another speaker's turn to speak the truth. Nobody's speaking up. So let me speak some words nobody else can seem to speak enough. You can find it if you seek it. It's no secret that the secret's up. So really keep the visual. Really keep it critical. So many of the things that they teach are really fictional. Might seem conventional, maybe deemed traditional. But meanwhile, anything biblical is mythical. I don't even really mean to be so cynical. But how does anyone believe a big bang? Pitiful. This thing evolved into this thing? Despicable. <laughs> how are all these theories scientifically admissible? As time is of the essence. So what's the lesson? Are we checking the curriculum with no second guessing? And to the message that we're stressing here, does God give his blessing? I can't help but get impressions we were born to be destined, like there was more to be questioned. It's like a war for our spirit. So I'm sending out a call and I hope that you hear it. We got this book here saying this, look here in your ear, making this good book disappear and it's clear. I graduated from learning lies to seeking truth, indoctrinated to be too blind to see the proof. I once was lost, but now I'm found, so I shine light, and everywhere I go is dark, so I shine bright. Our Earth is playing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was great, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all having me on, man. It's been a pleasure. I, I look up to every one of you guys and the studies y'all do, so thank you for what you guys do.
sunshine streaks all across my tracks You never know who really got your back
What's with everybody saying the world's flat, Charles? Kyrie said that. Shaq said that. Did, did, where, where, where's this all? Shaq says he can see the moon. Shaq, what are you talking about? The earth is flat. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. No, Listen, it's not. There's three ways to manipulate the mind. What you read, what you see, and what you hear. But he can't see California. So is the moon closer? Do you agree? DD, I think that question was from you for my own 3D. That's a good and again, question. it was Shaq can see the moon. But I can't see California from my backyard. Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's only in my profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. So, so it's is closer. it closer? Uh, California is closer. Okay. How come it, I can't it, see it then? Huh? That's okay. How come I can't see it then? Uh, because it's flat. <laughs> Wait, the it? earth is flat? No, because the circumference of the earth is flat. But is so you it cannot flat? see over, you can't see D. D. you're not high enough to see over the horizon. But is the but is the earth flat or round? Are you like Oh, that's a combination of both. <laughs> <laughs> so from space is round, right? And then when you're on earth it's flat. That's what I say, because when I drive my bus from Florida to California, <laughs> I, I go like that. I don't go like that. I'm just saying. I like when I fly from here to China, I fly like this. I don't fly like yeah. that. So I'm just saying, when I look up, the moon be looking at me, and I'll be looking at the moon. How long do you think it's going to take to drive to, to get to the moon? Take about 24 drive. hours from California. How far do you think it's going to drive to the moon? I, I don't know. I mean, you can see it. You, uh, I'm not a... What uh, it look like? <laughs> the Earth is flat. The earth is flat. Your reaction. I think you can be smart, Scotty, right? And say you want to be a critical thinker and intellectually curious without exactly. attacking hardcore science. Science, you're right. <laughs> it looked pretty to me. I got one of them big old, I got one of them big old telescopes. <laughs> to human beings, but hey, Steph Curry says that he doesn't believe in the moon. It's the thing all over. It's on CNN, and, and, they, and they say we're just jocks. We're just athletes, but it's on your channel. <laughs> so... You know what I mean? I hate that it has to be a subject of, of, of something like that where, you know, it, you've been taught in science, taught in, within our, our classroom, certain things, and then you get older and you, you start coming into things that you have questions about. And it's natural to do that as an adult, as a kid, or anything like that. And, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, even myself, you can speak ahead of yourself whether or not you believe it or not. And I support that aspect of it for people. So, you know, whether or not he believes it or not, NASA landing. Finally, the truth comes out. Landing on the moon? You must be a loon. NBA star Steph Curry recently said on a podcast he's not convinced the moon landing really happened. We ever been to the moon? Nope. Nope. They gonna come get us. I don't think so. Elon <laughs> I'm Musk. Sorry, the I don't say we got. They ain't been on the moon. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Stanley, you gotta do the uh, research on Stanley. Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> you know what? Steph may be on to something. Tonight, NASA scientists call those comments out there. Don't worry, Grandma. We believe you. Yeah, I'll believe anything if it's convenient. The Earth is flat and you can't tell me otherwise. Boy, I keep... Escape velocity is 24,800 miles per hour, but your body would instantly become a 9.5 inch caliber bullet. Well, really more of a supersonic tumble. Do you say to the 44% of Americans who say they are worse off now than they were before fire with more gradually slow down people in airplanes, assuming they could navigate the resulting storms, might have a better chance of surviving astronauts aboard the ISS that takes six hours and 6,000 miles to make one full turn. It's not sudden enough to register with our senses.
this is Janice Moon. I've been a friend of yours for years. You can be one of these. We have so much going on our side. What we are doing is popular with the American people. We are going to win. And I'm going to also say this. We are going to win because we love our country. I will tell you, I love this G-Vent Gen Z generation. I, they are so spectacular. They have actually coined the term climate anxiety to describe how they feel in a very personal, lived experience way about what this climate crisis means, not just theoretically and academically, but to them. Climate anxiety, the fear that they have that they have should not have children, the fear that they have that maybe they should never have any children in their own house because it could be destroyed by them. Yeah. Mm-hmm.